everyone, Willow West here, and welcome back to Dead Secret, where I'm hoping that this is going to be the last episode, because uh, I think we're getting pretty close to the end. Pretty sure we are, anyhow. Um, okay, so we are in the office, and I was told um, by a viewer whose name I do not recall because he was uh, being rather rude so <laughs> I deleted his comment but he did tell me that uh, these pages here uh, these blank pages can be uh, the information on them can be revealed by adding heat to them from the Bunsen burner downstairs so sorry I didn't remember who you were but hey thanks random internet troll for <laughs> <laughs> for that tip I guess uh, anyhow and also let's come over here because someone in the comments it's been a while I can't remember who reminded me that there was a record player here so okay let's can we get into our inventory all right um, we have a record so let's put the record on here and see Huh. Well, it's it's opera. I don't know the the name of it, but um, and I also don't know if it's copyrighted. Um, well, I'm gonna have to look into that. Uh, if you guys are not hearing what I'm hearing right now, it's probably because I had to uh, replace this with uh, something else. But uh, it's a it's a pretty song, at least. Um, okay, let's move on. <laughs> I don't know if I can stop it or not. Uh, was this a favorite record of Bullard? I don't know. Well, we found out that Bullard is not even Bullard. He's uh, James Lowry. Lor Lowry? Lowry? I don't know. Don't know. Okay, but we have a key now. We got the key. I think it's to the, um, maybe the padlock in the, in the basement or the, 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 on the freezer in the basement. So we have to go down there anyhow. Oh, hi. Hello. You're not really Satan. You are just, uh. Well, you're not Harris Bullard either. You're James Laurie wearing that uh, Satan mask, demon mask. So, okay, we have to come over here, first of all, and light. It's a Bunsen burner, I know. We turn that on and, um, yeah, we need to get our, our matches out, right? Oh, we don't have matches anymore? Well, then how can we, uh... How can we light the... Bunsen burner, then? I don't know. Well, sorry, random internet troll. We may not be able to do that after all. Last time the matches, I think, were in this container up here. Will there be matches again? Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do random junk. Okay. Well, then, can we not? I guess we can't reveal what's on those pages. That's that's a bummer. Okay, well, I guess we'll just uh, forget about it then. Okay, the lock is off. All right. Can we go? This is the last place left to explore. Am I ready to move on? Well, I guess so. I guess so. There's no turning back. Okay. Search the basement freezer. Done. Okay. Right, 
there's a handprint down there. Hypothermia. Mm -hmm. Kills in a matter of hours and leaves no mark. Okay. Bullard died in his freezer. Or was it James Lowry? It was James Lowry. Now that I've gathered all the pieces, I just need to put them together. A scientist with a past, a dead colleague, mm -hmm. an ex-wife down on her luck, mm -hmm. a girl with no father, and a boy with no future, a snow woman, a full moon. Now I just need to get out of here alive. Okay. Well, I suppose we... Oh! This another one of those never-ending hallways. What happens if we just we can't go back that way? Okay. Oh, well, this one ends though. Alrighty. Well, let's uh, go through the door then, I suppose. Quite the extensive uh, basement you have here in this. Oh my guess this is what he was talking about. That the uh, home had an unusual construction. Is this a door? It looks like maybe some catacombs underneath there. Okay, so who killed Harris Bullard? Well, I don't think it was Graham Wellington, because he's, he was killed too, so he must have been killed by someone else. Um, it could be Cynthia, or Bobby. Bobby was going crazy. I don't know about Josie. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about any of them. Um, I don't think, I don't know. Unless, I mean, if Josie had found out that Harris Bullard was killed and was actually James Lowry, then she might have had a reason. Um, that's not a very good reason, though. I, I don't know. Okay, okay. I'm trying to figure this out. Bobby, I don't think that Bobby would have had a reason to either. Not a significant reason to, but that just leaves Cynthia, but she seems really unlikely to have done it. So, I don't know. And it could I guess it could have been Graham that killed that killed uh Harris, aka James Laurie, but um and then but then would that be who killed Graham? Would Josie have killed Graham then? I don't know. I don't know. So I guess we just have to pick a key. I don't know. Ooh. Who did it? Who did it, guys? Um, I guess we'll just pick Cynthia because I'm really not sure at this point. I'm just okay. All right. We go over here. Go this way. I wonder if we can go by the fire. Can we go over by this fire and burn those pages? I guess not. Achievement unlocked. Ending B. Okay. Looks snowy. And we're fading into the long dark. Search for a local reporter ends. So we died. That must have been the wrong one. Today, police halted their search for Patricia Iden. Read it. Gable, a young reporter from Colby, vanished without a trace two weeks ago. Uh, police suspect foul play, but so far no suspects have been named. 
secret. Okay, so there are other endings. I guess we should see if we can get those. Okay, can we skip all this? It's real nice. Okay, go faster. Go faster. All right. Come on. Come on. Okay. That was ending B. Okay, so we have three more endings we can get. So we can continue. And make a different choice this time. All right. Just go down the row then. All right. I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I have a feeling that the answer was probably in those pages that we couldn't see. But I'm not going to go back and replay. Oh. This is different. She's in that I wonder if it is Josie, because Josie was the first one to um, go in the, what is it called? The dream thing. Oh, hello. You're cold, looks like. Okay, can we go this way? Oh, look at that. It's Josie and then the woodcutter or whatever it is. Hello, spooky, creepy monkey. All right, so. Josie? It's Josie. She's injured. Okay. Oh, are we supposed to pick this stuff up? Okay. Achieve it unlock ending S. All right. Oh, hello. Is there? We can't do anything. You okay? You just sit there and you think about what you've done. Oh, there's some lights. I barely managed to pull Josie from the house as it mm -hmm. burned to the ground. All right. All of Bullard's research, his equipment, and his secrets burned with it. Josie Herrera was arrested for the murders of Harris Bullard and Graham Wellington. My story of blackmail, murder, and my narrow escape from a deranged killer made headlines. In January, I start at the Chicago Tribune. Good for you. I never told them about James Lowry or that Josie's last name is really Turner. Those secrets are mine alone. What? It seems like as a reporter, you would want to uh, report on things like that, actually. <laughs> and wouldn't she technically be withholding evidence if she was in possession of that information and she withheld it? I mean, this was a criminal investigation, obviously, if uh, Josie was the murderer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We're back here again. Do we pick Bobby this time? Is that the other ending? No, that's the same ending. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, this one, and I think we have to pick Josie. I think, I think, the difference is this time we don't save her. 
This time, we just let her burn. <laughs> Seems rather heartless. I think it probably makes us no better. Yeah, hey there. Come on. Makes us no better than the killer, does it? Hello again, creep me monkey. And sorry about your luck. Okay, here we go. Yep, achievement unlocked. Ending A. Ending A, what does that stand for? <laughs> I won't say. Alright, see you, see you. What's the last ending? Okay, so this is apparently supposed to be the spot where we can run away. Yes, run away. Okay, run away. That was the last ending. <laughs> I had to restart the game just to get to that last ending. Okay. You'll never know what happened. What really happened to Harris Bullard, except we do know what happened to Harris Bullard, only we did not find out what those two pages, I think there were two pages, what they actually said. So, oh, I hate to do this again, but I may have to restart just to find out what's on those pages. <laughs> All right, so we have a flame now. We only have one of the blank pages, but let's try it. A hidden message appeared. I can't believe that worked. I know, right? Dear Josie, thank you for the lemon juice. This is my first time writing a secret message, and I hope it works. Today, I brought Bullard his weekly groceries, and again, he refused to pay. It's been over a month. He claims that he's broke, but I don't believe him. My family has bills to pay, too, and you know he'd never send a white boy away without payment. I can't stand this. My ma listens to Dr. King on the radio nearly every week, and she says we've got to be vigilant but peaceful. I'm tired of being peaceful. If somebody doesn't pay you for your work, I think you should take action. Next time I come around, Bullard's going to pay his tab or we're going to have some words. Maybe more than words. Don't worry about me, though. I'll come prepared, Bobby. Mmm. He was planning to confront Bullard. Okay. Well, we already know that Bobby's not the one, so we need to continue on, I guess, <sighs> and find the other page. <laughs> All right, so we're back here with the second page. Let's see what this one says. What's on this page? Dear Josie, I sent the documents to Washington like you wanted. Today they sent me a telegram confirming your suspicions. Ah, uh, yeah. James Lowry and Harris Bullard both served in the same Navy unit in the South Pacific. Lowry is listed as MIA and presumed dead. I talked on the phone with an inspector in Chicago about the woman you told me about, Rosanna Turner. He wouldn't send me the file, but I told him it was, a it was research for a book, and he gave me some details. The woman was apparently strangled by a burglar, but the weird thing is that nothing of value was stolen, just a box of old documents by the looks of it. Ah, the case went cold in 1946 and has been sitting in the unsolved homicides file ever since. Josie, I don't know who these people are or what you're up to with this research all of a sudden, but this is getting scary. If you're in trouble, you give me the word and I'll make sure Bullard never bothers you again, Bobby. Okay, so yeah, that, that, 
that definitely is a big piece of the puzzle there uh, of why Josie would uh, take care of this James Laurie guy uh, if he was the one who uh, killed her mother. <laughs> that is definitely a um, motive for her to take revenge on him. Wow. Okay, so yeah, that was the missing piece of the puzzle right there. So it's all, all explained now that Josie was the daughter of Harris Bullard, but he was killed in action. Uh, James Laurie assumed his identity but didn't realize at the time that he had loose ends <laughs> Uh, namely Josie and her mom and so he took matters into his own hands to uh, tie up those loose ends um, well I don't know I guess he, he didn't realize that uh, Josie was um, Harris Bullard's daughter maybe Harris Bullard didn't even realize it himself at the time uh, that he had a daughter so wow okay so that's the story that's that's dead secret. I <laughs> I don't know what I think about this game. I mean, it started out really interesting. Uh, and then it just kind of... Then it was just more of like li little riddles to solve. And not a whole lot scary about this game, really. But uh, it, was, it was fun. It was a nice little diversion for a while there. But it was getting to the point where... I mean, just the gameplay mechanics of it. It was just kind of frustrating at times most of the times <laughs> uh, I don't I'm not uh, you know unhappy that I played it it was fun but i um, kind of glad that it's over now <laughs> so anyhow I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe or if you didn't go ahead and leave a like comment and subscribe too let me know what you thought of the game uh, anyhow I will see you guys later Bye-bye.